Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Greedfall. We are currently doing Vasco's companion quest and we are looking for a shipwrecked ship uh, somewhere around here and uh, we need to find out what happened. So yeah, let's move on and let's find that ship. And apparently I need to use a passage leading to the shore. However, I would like to find out what's going on in this little area. There's a question mark, so might be a camp, might be a skill altar. Let's find out. It's a skill altar. Oh, and um, I think we found our wreck, huh? Anyway, let's use the altar first. I earned one skill point, which means that I can get this skill now. Fury, a cry of rage which greatly increases attack speed and combo speed. I'll take it. And yeah, that over here looks like a shipwreck. So let's take the passage and investigate. And there's no, like, camp anywhere nearby. Well, there's one over here. I completely missed that one. But okay, uh, apparently we need to go through the dark, uninviting cave. These candles look like eyes. Like they're tiny little creatures staring at you from the darkness. And... I would be very surprised if we don't run into a few bats or something like that in here. Well, as a matter of fact, it looks fairly safe, but uh, we have various ways to go here, so... Let's see if we can find anything. Get some iron. Oh, I see. This is basically one way. Oh, here we go. I knew there were bats. Of course, they had to be. And, oh, I think it's the poisonous kind of bat. I think I should heal myself. And I'm already poisoned. But I think I will be able to... Defeat the bats before I die. Okay, there we go. Right, um... This is kind of confusing, but I think it's basically all just one path that splits up and then reunites. So let's have a quick look around and pick up potential loot. Over here. Can always use some iron for upgrades. Now let's move on. Oh, hang on a second. This is iron too, I believe. It is. It is iron. Okay. Um. <laughs> nope. This is wrong. Iron 2. Okay, this is the right way. And maybe I will have a closer look at stuff going on here on my way back. Huh, we have a dead person over here. Look, there it is. Oh, I must admit, it is awe inspiring. Yep, we found our ship and what about all of these dead people? I mean, they don't look like knots. They look like coin guard or something. Um, well, investigate the wreckage. Okay, so 
Yes, we'll just have a look at the ship and see what we can find out here. Yeah, I just have to look around. Well, there's some dead animals over here. And these dead animals I did not kill. The corpses are chained up. These beasts were captive. Could they have died during the sinking? I don't think so. They don't seem to have drowned. Something bigger slaughtered them with no effort at all. Something bigger? Well, what could that possibly be? And, I mean, if they were chained up, then maybe the Nords had them on their ship like they had the Guardian on their ship that broke free back in Serene. Oh, here we go. These are dead Nords. Quite a few of them, actually. Um, well, let's see. Ooh, ooh, look at this. A giant hole in the hull. The hull was torn apart. And given the way that the wood is broken, it came from the inside. Mm -hmm. Damn it. What happened here? There are scratch marks almost everywhere on the wood. But they do not look like the marks a reef would make. I have a very good idea what happened here. I guess they captured another guardian, and again the guardian broke free and the ship sank as a result. I mean, it's the same that happened back in Serene. Oh, what do we got here? Cage. Again, something was inside the cage and broke free. It looks like an enormous cage. But look. It's been broken. Is this ringing any bells for anyone else? Mm-hmm. This ship was apparently carrying creatures from the island. The largest one managed to escape and made a hole in the hull as it tried to run away. Just like in Serene, the sailors did not stand a chance. The Admiral will not be satisfied with our deductions. <laughs> she will want concrete proof. Let's keep searching. Well, um, the creature still might be around. As a matter of fact, I think I'm looking right at it. <laughs> And yeah, I guess it's another guardian. I mean, this cage doesn't look big enough for one of these guardians, but um, apparently they had other creatures on board as well. So we may have to fight another one of these now. It looks weird. Hmm, okay, well, let's do it. Nadai Glenderman. Okay. Oh, well, um, I think we've seen one of these before, or at least a very similar one. And can we maybe draw it out of the cave? I don't really want to fight it in such a close quarter. I mean, my usual strategy is to roll around like crazy. There we go. It left the cave. And now it's underground, which is rather unfortunate. Um, well, okay, there we go. Back up. Let's destroy the armor with a few bullets. And now we can... Oh, well, um... Let's see if you can ward off this cut that they can do this sometimes. Alright, let's... Get in a quick heal. That my companions might appreciate it as well. Yeah, I mean, it does heal my companions a little bit, but not really that much, to be honest. Okay, I used up my adrenaline already. Oh, wow. Um, careful. But I think we're making some good progress here. Almost down. There we go. Well, uh, this is, I don't know if it's a new kind. We saw some very similar Nardike before with the uh, tentacles in his face. <laughs> and just a few gold coins. Okay. So, um, I wonder if this is considered to be proof. Find clues about what happened. Okay, I still need to 
look around for clues. As a matter of fact, I have to look inside this very cave. Ah, okay, here we go. Journal of the Captain of the Oriflam. We finally managed to get the creatures entrusted to us on board after giving them the potions provided by the alchemists. The largest one is terrifying, even when it's asleep. I asked for it to be chained and kept in a cage. Tonight we set sail. The weather is mild, the crossing should be uneventful. The crew is complaining about the presence of the creatures on board. The largest one started moving again despite what we gave it. The large beast has woken up. It is howling in rage. We will, ne we will never make it to the continent in these conditions. We are heading back to the island. Let's hope the cage will hold until then. The beast is moving so much that we are having trouble sailing. We can see the coast from the crow's nest. I hope we'll make it there in time before it, before it gets free and kills us all. Which is exactly what happened. So why are you capturing these animals in the first place? I mean, I guess you kind of want to sell them? Do you actually have a buyer for them? Someone who wants to buy all of these creatures? I don't know. Maybe some... Uh, scientists back on the continent might be interested in studying them. But okay, I think uh, we found out what happened here. All the clues seem to corroborate the captain's journal. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. The guardian who was locked up on board freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. Yes, and my brothers had no means of saving their lives or the ship, alas. Let's go back and explain this to the Admiral. The captain's journal will serve as proof. Okay, there we go. That is all the proof that I need. So now I have to report back to the Admiral. Of course, there isn't really any fast travel spot anywhere nearby. So I think I will have a quick look around uh, the place to make sure I have found everything. And then I will head back to New Serene to speak to Admiral Cabral. And I'll bring you back once I'm actually back at the harbor. All right, I am back in New Serene at the harbor. So let's go and talk to Admiral Cabral and tell her what we found out. Desarde, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, well, we found your missing ship. Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with, we have come to give our conclusions. I'm listening. We examined the shipwreck and the surrounding area. A creature they carried on board managed to set itself free. An enormous beast. It made a hole in the hull and caused the sinking. We could only find dead bodies. Alas, I was expecting it. May the sea be their shroud. We shall not forget them. Did you find anything? The captain's journal tells the tale of the ship from their departure to the sinking. Thank you, Vasco. It seems that the potions of the Alliance failed us once more. And rest assured, we will never transport another one of those creatures. They are too dangerous for our ships. Our honor is safe, thanks to you. You have proven your loyalty, and you have regained my trust. What you have achieved for us all deserves to be a part of your history, Vasco. I am most grateful to you, Admiral. But I would like to request something. A request? Speak, Captain. As you know, Desarde was seaborne, despite being taken away from us. I know that you have sent me on this assignment so that I would reflect on my own condition. But I believe that you were also hoping I would manage to make the Legate want to join us. Oh. After proving to be invaluable and respectful of the knots. Perhaps it's time to officially recognize my companion's birthright. If de Sarde wills it so, I would be glad to add a member to our family. Um, okay. What exactly does that mean? Um, I didn't expect this to happen. And I think Athena is probably just as surprised by this offer as I am. Uh, ooh can't even ask any further questions about this. I can either accept or decline. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel 
this happens a little bit fast. I mean, a few days ago she found out that uh, her parents are not her parents, but that her parents actually have been natives of TFRD and uh, that she was born on a ship. And now they suddenly offer her to join the Nords. Um, I think we may not want to rush this like this. <laughs> and I mean, she's still a legate of the congregation. And um, she may have, you know, native um, heritage and she may have been born on a ship. But for better or worse, she grew up with a congregation and um, she already has conflicting loyalties, I believe, because of, you know, being a legate of a congregation, while at the same time being uh, of uh, native parents. So I'm not sure if she wants to muddle this even further by basically joining another faction. And yeah, since I can't really get any more information on what this would entail, I mean, how formal would this be? Uh, what would my responsibilities be as a member of the Nord? Um, I think I will respectfully decline. I mean, I am intrigued by the offer, but I really would like to have a little bit more information before I just jump into this kind of stuff. So I hope you're not going to hold it against me if I decline, but this is all happening a little bit too fast for my taste. Especially since um, the Nords, uh, Admiral Cabral in particular, knew all the time that she was born on one of their ships and she didn't really tell her until recently. And now she is suddenly like, yeah, you can join us now. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think um, I will actually decline this because I don't really know uh, enough about it to just blindly accept. It would be a real honor, but my life is not that of a Nord. I'm sorry. Desarde, you do not have to live like hm. us to... The Legate has made a choice, Fasco, and it is an honorable decision. Now go. The Tattooist will be expecting you, Vasco. Thank you, Admiral. Well, it actually seems that uh, Vasco was more disappointed um, than the Admiral. I mean, I feel the Admiral mostly wanted me to join for political reasons, you know, having a legate of the congregation as part of the Nords might be useful for them. <laughs> but it seems that Vasco was actually disappointed that I declined. Well, that's sad. Anyway, um, I still have to do something, I believe. Accompany Vasco to the Tattooist. Okay, so he gets another tattoo, I suppose. All right. Uh, let's do it. Where do I have to go? Okay, it's actually right over here. Also, if I had joined the Nords, I probably would be able to get a tattoo as well, right? I mean, that's a missed opportunity. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure about all the other um, things that being a Nord involves, so I think you shouldn't blindly agree to something like that. Anyway, we are here for a tattoo for Vasco. I have come to receive my tattoo. The Admiral should have informed you. Indeed, Captain. Congratulations. Well, take a seat. You know the drill. What do you think about it? I feel more naught than ever. <laughs> Great. Congratulations, Vasco. So, did he actually get a new facial tattoo or, well, some addition to it? I don't know, I would like to check, so let's talk to him. Maybe somewhere where there's a little bit of light so we can actually see his face. And I kind of want to talk to him anyway again after we just finished his quest here. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? Oh yeah, I think there is like a new element in his facial tattoo. So I guess that part somehow represents the mission he just finished. I see. Um... I believe this option is new, whether he intends to set sail again. Now that the Admiral has forgiven you, do you intend to set sail again? Without a doubt, but do not worry. I will not leave you before I find out where our story leads. Well, that's good, because our story is not yet over, I'm sure. Tell him you wouldn't have allowed him to leave. <laughs> Do I actually have the authority to um, prevent him from leaving? Tell him you would miss him if he left. Tell him that you wish you could sail with him again. Um, 
Well, I suppose we did sail together from the continent to Tierfredi. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would miss him if he left, certainly. I would understand if you preferred to leave. But I would miss you. That's a certainty. I will miss you too. But we're not saying goodbye yet, are we? Did you want anything else? We are not saying goodbye yet, um, except I'm actually saying goodbye now because I have no more dialogue options. I must leave you. But not permanently, obviously. So, um, I believe that we have finished his mission now. And this may actually be like the end of his personal quest, because that seemed pretty final. But we do have one for Kurt and another one for Petrus. Uh, and we have this one, which I actually may want to continue right away, because we're basically right next to Captain Ruben this entire time. So I may just want to uh, continue this. And yes, I do realize at some point I have to make a decision in regards to romance. Um, I haven't fully made up my mind yet who to romance, but let's just say I have a preference, so we'll see where that'll go in the future. But yeah, um, let's talk to Captain Ruben over here and let's just continue with another Nord mission. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. So, um, do you have any suspects? You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba. A committed volunteer from Telemi. Ah, she only joined us a short time ago. Did you want to know anything else? Hmm... Why exactly do you suspect this person? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, She's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern. But you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Ultimately, your strong suspicion stems from the fact that she's sea-given. A recent sea-given. She did not join us as a child. But you know how rare volunteers are. Especially from Telemi. Did you want to know anything else? Um... I don't know. Do you have any more information on this person? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. <laughs> I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. Did you want to know anything else? Yeah, it's actually quite the miracle that the Nords were able to keep this secret for so long. You would think at some point someone would, you know, uh, tell something about this to other people or leave the Nords or whatever, or try to, you know, spy on them like this person maybe did. I mean, at the moment we do not have a lot of evidence. Basically, she's just hanging around uh, Captain Ruben all the time and is nervous. So, for all we know, she could just have a crush on him. <laughs> and, well, the papers are disturbed, so I guess that is kind of evidence. But, okay, um, I guess that's all I can ask, because I'm pretty sure this question here is old. So, let's leave it at that. That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. So, um, what do we do with these information that we just gathered here from this guy? Um, I should probably mark this as active. Question Captain Ruben's crew. Okay, so maybe the crew will be able to give us more information about this. Got a bunch of people over here. Oh yeah, these are actually uh, the Nords we talked to back in Old Serene. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain! 
Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? I need some information. Oh, well, um, I don't think I have asked this, although this is not uh, relating to my current quest. So maybe let's ask about this Alba person first. I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. No, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? Um, I don't think so. But, um, since I don't believe I have asked these questions, let's just do it now. How have things been since you made it back? Very good. Everyone's been looking out for me extra careful, like. I do miss my parents from time to time, but I don't miss the warehouse <laughs> or the mercenaries. My real family is on the waves. Thanks for helping me to return to them. Anything else, Your Excellency? No, but I'm glad that you're doing fine. So what have you been doing here since the crossing? What have you been up to since we made it to Tear D? I'm still just a cabin boy. But I have high hopes to be promoted to seaman for our next <laughs> crossing. Since our captain changed, we've been doing nothing but coasting and small trade. But that won't last. Anything else, Your Excellency? No, that should be it. I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Okay, so we got some information from him, so the person we're looking for might be in the tavern. But let's talk to the other people too. Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavia. I'm all yours, Captain. How come that uh, this one person, Jonas, doesn't have a tattoo, by the way, and this one has? I mean, he's just a cabin boy, but so is uh, Flavia, is he not? Um, okay, so let's ask about Alba first. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where is she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. <laughs> These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? Okay, but why would she be nervous now? I mean, if she was a spy, wouldn't she have been nervous the entire time? So something must have happened. Anyway, let's ask these questions here too. What have you been up to since we landed? Nothing worthy of writing home about. Just shuffling merchandise around the aisle from port to port. I prefer the high sea. Anything else? Yeah, honestly, I think these guys have been hanging around the port the entire time. So, what do you think of Tier D? Are you happy on Tier D? More than on the continent, that's certain. But being on solid ground always makes me feel a little too anchored. Especially after what happened to Jonas. The island is beautiful, the natives rather friendly, but all said and done, it's off the coast where I truly <laughs> feel at home. Anything else? Apparently, feeling anchored is uh, not a positive thing, according to a nod. Anyway, that's it. I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. And let's talk to this guy as well. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've quite a list of errands to check off. Indeed. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? Um, again, let's talk about Alba first. I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? 
Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. If anything else. Okay, so all my lead basically lead back to the tavern. Anyway, I have more questions over here. How have things been going for you since we landed? Well, it came as quite a shock to see you grounded, Captain. We truly wondered why. Alas, the Admiral's decisions are as mysterious as those of the Luminous Lauro. Impenetrable. That's true. But the crossing went so well, didn't it? And since Captain Rubin took the helm for you, well, he's not the talkative type. But then I'm not going to complain. We've been sailing the small rounds of late, keeping busy. We go from port to port around the island. It's peaceful. At least we're in port often. Anything else? Um, no. But one more question. What do you think about Tirfredi? Do you like it on Tirfredi? It's not as nice as our isle, but it's <laughs> far better than the continent. Here at least we can breathe without smelling a corpse round every corner. And the coast is beautiful. And you know, the taverns aren't so <laughs> bad. Anything else? So what exactly is your isle if it's not the continent and not Tirfredi? Inquiring minds want to know. I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, the tavern it is. None of this helps us. They all told us pretty much the same thing. She changed her behavior when she arrived here. Perhaps this is a sign or perhaps <laughs> not. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Indeed. That is exactly what I intend to do. So, to the tavern it is. However, I think uh, before I go to the tavern, there is another thing that I would like to do. Now that um, Vasco has affirmed his nordness, <laughs> I think he should get a proper nord outfit. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you. And I do believe that this guy is selling nord outfits. Um, let's see. Which would be the best not appropriate outfit that you have for sale? I guess it would be this one. Commander's Collared Sailor Coat. Let's see. How does it compare to the one you already have? It is worse, but once I've put some upgrades into it, I think it'll be fine. And at least it's an appropriate armor for him. Because everything else is not... Not a Nord armor, no. This is definitely the best one. And I have checked the other stores. I don't think any of them actually carry any Nord armor. So I guess this is what you will get. I think it suits you. So um, to celebrate the... Uh, finishing of your loyalty mission, you will get a new armor from me. Thank you for your visit. See you there soon. we go. And after this episode, I will do some crafting off camera and uh, give him some decent Come upgrades. Closer, but Thank now let's head over to the tavern and let's look for this Alba person. Everyone wants to sell me stuff. I don't want to buy anything at the moment. I'm sorry. This time you well, are going if these drunkards have one of their rounds, they'll end up in a fight. Let's see. You can shout all you want, but I'll What's try going on here? Drunkard. Not at all! I play that hand honestly! Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true! You want to see how tough? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. I'd prefer not to get involved in drunken quarrels. No good tends to come from it. Order them to leave. Don't insist. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're leather coat gang people, so that already makes them very shady. So, 
Um, I feel that as the legate of the congregation, I have the authority to tell them to leave. So that's what I will do, I suppose. You'd better get out of here, unless you want to end up in jail. Ooh, she thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <coughs> On <laughs> guard! And yeah, this was bound blade. to happen, I suppose. Watch out! It's not like they are much of a challenge here. I'm sorry for the mess I caused. <gasps> what was that all about? Was this even related to my quest? It may not have been. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you don't mind cleaning up this mess for me. <laughs> Investigate the tavern. Yeah, this is apparently just some random bar fight that I could get involved in or not. And, well, I did. Um, no, my quest is actually on the upper floor. I'm not in the right spot here. So, let's see. Do I have to go through here, maybe? It must be somewhere around here, I guess. Now I'm in the coin guard place and not <laughs> the tavern anymore. Also, apparently, uh, we have a quest here, the shadow of the guard. So, since I'm here, maybe I should talk to uh, Manfred again, just to get the quest, not to actually continue with it. Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems there has been an unexpected development. The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island, and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will find out. Who is Egon? Have we met this guy before? <laughs> I don't remember. No, thank you. Is it the innkeeper? Might be the innkeeper. Okay, but I'm not I'm not in the right place for my actual quest, so uh, we will take care of this later. And um, I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to look for this person. Yeah, this is this is a completely different quest. Um hmm. Well, I will look around a bit and hopefully I will find this person I'm looking for. Okay, I have been looking around the entire tavern and I can't really find anything, not the person nor anyone to talk to. So I may have to talk to the innkeeper about this anyway. I guess that's what I'm going to try. What can I pour for you? There we go. Evoke the subject of Alba. That's what I want to do. I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Rubin's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. <laughs> Anything else? Well, I could ask about the supply problems, but let's do one quest at a time here. Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. Okay, um, now let's see. Where is that person I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, this one, right over here. Soldier on leave. Um, you look kind of drunk. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it <laughs> at the tavern. How may I help you? Uh, we need to talk about this person. So, have you seen her? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Rubin's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with <laughs> style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Okay, so apparently she's gambling here at the tavern, potentially losing money. That might be a reason for her to be nervous. 
Um, so, have you heard any secrets about her? Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she'd like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken really? for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. <laughs> but I see everything. Well, how could someone possibly mistake you for a drunkard? Um, but sure, tell me what you've seen. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Of course Do it is. Do you want to know anything else? Um, I guess I will have to buy him some uh, alcohol, right? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. Well, um, I think I can arrange that. And look at all these people listening in to our conversation. What can I pour for you? Buy a bottle to offer to drink. Yes, I think that's what I will have to do here. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Ah, uh, I think he can stomach it. Oh. Here you are again. More questions? No, but I have some alcohol for you. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the noughts, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. <laughs> they were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? No, this was actually rather useful. Thank you. That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. And <laughs> look at all these people. What's going on here? Let's leave this place. Um, and I hope you will have removed the dead bodies when I come visit you the next time. <laughs> okay, so we got the dead drop somewhere over here. Obviously, we will check it out, but um, the gate of the city is actually over here. So, across the bridge, and then I will have to look for the documents. Okay, let's look around a bit. These are just some berries. This is not important either. I mean, it's supposed to be somewhere around here. I'm not seeing it marked anywhere. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. Supposedly, it's just a rock. I mean, this would be one. This ah, stone here we go. must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. In that case, Let's hide behind these bushes. We'll have a good view from there. Okay, let's do it. Catch the person who has been using the dead drop. So we have no documents inside the dead drop right now that we can uh, look at. We have to wait for someone to actually come by here. 
Alright, let's find the hiding spot. Is these bushes over here? No, not quite. <laughs> but you have to find just the right spot. It's somewhere up here, actually. I mean, I can't actually go up here, can I? Um. <laughs> no, I don't think, don't think I can go up here. Oh, here we go. That makes more Perfect. sense. We have a great view of the box from here. Well, what should we do? Shall we wait here? Um. Yes. Let's wait until nightfall. No, let's That's see. It. Suspect in sight. Um. Ah, there we go. I see a person. Apparently, I'm supposed to catch the person now. Okay. For that, I guess we have to come out of hiding. Oh dear. Um. He's only a messenger. We should follow him. I had to get past that. Invisible wall. So let's uh, try to catch up with him. But I also have to be careful because I suppose he shouldn't actually notice me. As long as he doesn't turn around, I think I'm fine. Okay. Find out who gave the order. Well, let's sneak a little bit closer. <laughs> Do I have to actually talk to these people? Well, Hello, gentlemen. What are you plotting? Fool! They followed us. I thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Hm. Attempt to intimidate him with my charisma. All right, let's use my intimidating charisma. <laughs> Especially since my other option is to threaten him, which is basically the same. But that one is without charisma, so obviously I'm going to pick this option. Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you'd better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just hmm. promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white to Sarde, but it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Okay, so I got a message. Can I actually, like, read it or is it just a message that I can't read? <laughs> Let's see. Is it in my notes, maybe? No, these are just messages I found. Okay, so um, we found some... Uh, hints as to who the person could be but no real evidence so far so it could be Alba but it might not be anyway I think um, the episode is getting long enough so I will make a cut here and we will continue our investigation in the next episode so as usual thank you for watching and see you again next time